Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the show. It is Slava, and today we have a special one for you. We're talking about Ascent of Ashes. Slava, why don't you introduce yourself, what you do, and maybe you can talk and just, you know, spill us everything and get you can about the game. Yeah, absolutely. Um, first of all, Drew, really appreciate you having me on the show. This is super cool. Um, <laughs> so I'm the CEO of Camland Games, um, and we are a new publisher. And Ascent of Ashes was really exciting to be our kind of flagship and first game um, that we brought on. We're a huge uh, Colony Sim base builder strategy fans. Mm -hmm. You know, uh, I've been playing PC games since 1989, <laughs> and probably the original XCOM um, was one of my favorites. Uh, so when we discovered that uh, the original creators of the Combat Extended mod for RimWorld were coming out with a new title, um, we were super excited and we're all over it. Um, and so it was something of a, it was something of a unique um, experience for us to dive in as purely, hey, we're going to let you have uh, basically full creative control and we're gonna be really helping you just bring this to market and making sure that as many players across the world um, find out about uh, how awesome Ascent of Ashes is going to be. Exactly. Can you give us a lowdown of what the game is? Yeah, absolutely. So Ascent of Ashes is a good mix of colony sim, things you're familiar with mm -hmm. um, in the space like RimWorld, uh, Dwarf Fortress, etc. Um, but with also real time with pause combat. Um, that you'd see from something like Door Kickers, for example. Um, and that combo of the, the colony management plus the high action, you know, there's a whole variety of ways you can engage in action. There's um, melee combat, there's ranged. Um, you throw grenades, Molotov cocktails, really <laughs> cool weapons. Um, you drive vehicles around a massive world. Um, there's a lot of unique features that we're like super, super excited about. And it's been amazing to just watch the development and just sort of appear before our eyes. We're like, yes, these were promised features. Here they are. That's super cool. Do we have a time frame as to when we can expect this or are we still early in development? So yeah, it's early in development. We're kind of pre-alpha right now. Um, sure. We should have a gameplay reveal um, coming in late uh, May, early June. Uh, the game is scheduled to release to early access uh, Q4 of 2023, so this year, um, and we're on track for that timeline, so very exciting. That is very exciting. So you're saying early access, we're heading to Steam would be my guess. Were you heading to any other platforms in the future? Yep. Um, we're already on GOG, so um, you can grab a DRM free copy there um, once it <laughs> drops. And eventually we'll probably have, we're starting our partnerships with um, the Epic Games Store. Uh, so that's a potential as well down the road. Nice. Anything, any ideas for a console version at all? Yeah, it's on the roadmap post-release. Um, we do have a plan to start porting pretty much ASAP um, as soon as uh, we get some feedback from the PC, uh, Mac and Linux players. Yeah. So we're going to go computer first, uh, then go console second. Super cool, super cool. So we are initially invading an alien planet. Is that how it goes? Originally, yes. Um, there was a colonization effort of this planet. Um, and so you're not, so in RimWorld, for example, you're just dropped on this sort of empty planet. Um, whereas here you've lived some time and now there's a revolt against the, um, the sort of corporate government and uh, military forces that were stationed there. So that's kind of where the story starts. No, absolutely. It looks super cool. Super cool. Slava, before I let you go, one last question. What's your favorite part of the game? Great question. <laughs> um, honestly, I'm a huge tactics guy. So I love the, the planning of you know, Door Kickers is one of my favorite games. Um, I love planning the routes being able to like, you know, the, the holy trinity of making sure that you have someone kind of supporting, you have a ranged uh, character, you have um, the melee characters, um, and everyone is kind of working together as a team. So the, the tactics are definitely, you know, 
I, the Sims was one of the first games I ever played, like Sims One. <laughs> yeah. So I really love and appreciate the uh, the colony sim and the like needs management. But it's sort of an ends. I mean, a means to an end for when I get to actually like start throwing grenades and stuff. <laughs> That's awesome. Where can people find out more about the game? Absolutely. Um, Steam is your best bet. Uh, just head over to the Ascent of Ashes uh, page on Steam and wishlist away. That sounds awesome. And of course, you can find out a whole lot more with us around with ITG. Let's head back to the show. <laughs>